Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aries. And Aries, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for January 20th to the 26th. So this week we've got the Unbound Oracle card. We have the Page of Pentacles, Temperance, the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, the Magician and the Strength card. So half the spread major arcana here, guys. So it's a fairly significant uh, transition that you're going through at the moment. And I really feel like it's a move from, you know, really figuring out you know, what you want and not accepting anything less. You know, you really, really want those six of cups kind of opportunities, fulfilling, overflowing, you know, blooming with, with love, joy and harmony, <clears throat> not, you know, empty cups like we see here in that four of cups energy. So I'm just going to start off by reading out that oracle card, guys, which is Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. It is time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life. They are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you are ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soul made that have an expiry date. It could be a vow of silence or chastity, chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is a life in which you free yourself from trauma of lives past. Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily have to be from past lives, Aries. It can be from past situations or from childhood. You know, those past situations that start um, recurring as a re repeating pattern, whether that's attracting the same kinds of, um, you know, uh, relationships that don't serve you or situations that uh, make you feel uh, like, you know, you're not good enough or you're, you know, a victim, that kind of thing. It's really time to um, cut those ties because it's absolutely not serving you anymore. And I do see that reflected in the recent past cards here with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. So for me, that Nine of Swords indicates the, you know, the, the pain or the instability mentally that potentially these kinds of patterns have uh, have brought up for you in your life. So the Nine of Swords can be, you know, deep worry, anxiety, even depression. Depression. It can also be, you know, that sense of overanalyzing, you know, trying to figure out the pattern, trying to get to the bottom of it. And even though you might understand it intellectually, because Swords is the, you know, the, the suit of the intellect, it won't change unless you actually um, take some inspired action or fundamentally transition your energy right now the magician is here to help you with that this week and you know that, that really that that shift is created by completely releasing patterns of the past sometimes it's enough just to kind of make that vow and decide sometimes you need to engage in other things and ex activities to actually shift your energy you know that can be you know journaling soul journeying, having energy healing, um, you know, through yogic practices, you know, cathartic releasing, detoxification, all those kinds of things that can really help us actually move stagnant energy throughout our body. Sometimes, you know, it just, if we're able to have emotional releases and cry it out, that also helps. And I do see here with the Four of Cups in combination with the Nine of Swords that I think you've gotten to the point where you've recognized the pattern and you have started to detach your energy from it because you can see here the person in this card their body language is you know crossed and closed they're protecting their heart and they have decided that they don't want to engage in whatever this kind of emotional situation is um, which could be you know somebody coming in with offers of love it could be you know a partner that uh, isn't serving you well or a relationship that could have gone toxic in some way which may be a repeated pattern for you it can be um, apologies or um, hollow promises maybe that's a cycle you know where things kind of build up and then there's an argument and an apology and a reconnection and that cycle goes on and on um, you know, it can be like I said the hollow promises of okay well we'll change that, I'll do this, I'll do that, and then, you know, no action following through with those words, you know, somebody who's talking the talk but not walking the walk. So I feel like you have retreated your energy from it in the recent past, or some of you might be going through that process at the moment, and that is, the, you know, the first step of, you know, releasing that soul pattern is retreating from it, because we have a little nod here to 
new manifestation with these three cups down the bottom I think you know that you deserve something more fulfilling and you deserve more you want you know more cups than just a one empty cup here you know the look at the difference between this cup and the cup here in the six of cups this one's blooming overflowing it's a feeling of emotional fulfillment that has a promise of growth continuing to expand and be abundant where this one sort of looks quite empty in comparison this can also be that divine nudge card of you know the universe kind of saying hey you know wake up it's time to release this you've lived enough in that nine of swords reality and it's time to to live your best life now i don't think that's been a an easy realization for you to have Aries you know it could be um, you know a real awakening that you've had to this past pattern and you know really facing that and acknowledging that in yourself you know because it could it could be a weakness for you that takes real strength and courage right in the strength card we see the lion and the angel now the lion can be our, <clears throat> our inner demons <clears throat> excuse me not feeling so great today um, our inner demons it can be our shadow side it can be our ego and the angel is our higher self so there's a message that sometimes we need to bring our ego under control or stop operating from our shadow side and start realigning and reconnecting with our higher self because that's where the true wisdom lies and that's when we unlock that unlimited potential that we see as a repeating theme in this reading so maybe you've had to kind of you know really look at you know look quite closely and at yourself um, you know really be your own mirror and say well okay I'm actually going to um, you know I'm going to coax that that ego side back under control and strength I can also talk about you know balancing with equal and opposite emotions so if you know maybe you're harboring any uh, resent or anger you know for, for this past pattern that maybe has been playing out in your current relationships your current workplace with your current friendships then we meet that with the equal and opposite emotion to balance and neutralize it it's almost like breaking the spell so that would be forgiveness you know surrender those kinds of things either way you know you've had the courage to really you know look at things exactly how they are and start to shift and heal and you know as one of the focus energies this week we see the beautiful temperance energy now I think this is that start of that emotional rebalancing process you know you've, you've recognized that repeated pattern you've had the strength to face it head on and acknowledge it now you're going through the rebalancing so the temperance energy talks about you know rebalancing the emotional waters of life about becoming truly stable again mentally emotionally physically and spiritually I mean she wears the equilateral triangle it's one of the most stable structures it doesn't matter what side you push on that shape will never collapse it's a metaphor for you becoming um, you know completely balanced and unshakable and stable um, in yourself and when you're in that place you know that's when the shifts start happening for you that's when you know opportunities start coming in you know at the moment you might just feel the seeds of possibility you might feel that transition happening within you but the promise is that the Sun is going to rise and really you know eclipse that darkness that we saw in that nine of swords so beautiful energy here there is also a strong sense of divinity about it as with the four of cups with that divine nudge so you know it's spirit saying you know, it really is time for this it's time for you to you know get back on track and and walk your path that you're you know really meant to at the moment so I love the temperance energy and the second focus energy for this week being the magician so it's saying really Aries that only you hold the power to make these changes you know not other people can give us advice and they can be supportive in, in, in all of that um, great stuff but it's only you as your own magic man or woman only you as your own magician who can take the inspired action in order to shift the energy to release old patterns and to create and manifest um, something new a new direction a new abundant direction the magician indicates that there's an awakening going on to the fact that you have all the tools at your disposal you have everything you need within and it's that awakening again that helps you 
tune into that infinite um, possibility and potential that you actually hold. One of my favorite messages with the magician is as above, so below, which means for me that change starts with ourselves. It starts from our internal world. And when we, you know, do the inner work, when we do the, you know, do those internal journey, journey work, you know, actually acknowledge our shadow side, um, you know, do the self-development, um, the spiritual spiritual practices, whatever it is for you that helps you shift your internal world and raise your frequency and vibration, that's when we start to see that shift reflected in our external world. So the key to transforming our external reality is by first transforming our internal reality. So that's what it starts, where it starts. And only you can do that for yourself, Aries. You are the magician. And through that journey, guys, the promise is far greater than what you've had before, the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So, you know, the Page of Pentacles, you know, pages are messengers in the tarot. So be on the lookout in the near future for new opportunities. For me, the sky here in the Page of Pentacles is the result of the sun in the Temperance card rising and fully you know, now you're in full illumination. So sort of after you've gone through this healing, this restoration, this renewal, you know, things are going to be much, you know, brighter, more sunnier for you. And that's the place that opportunities can not only come in, but that's the place from which you recognize them and see them. Because sometimes opportunities are actually around us, but we can block them or we don't see them because we're not present or we're consumed with the past or we're repeating past cycles and we believe that we don't deserve them. So the page of pentacles, you know, um, pentacles is all about stability. Again, we have that, you know, link to stability with temperance. Um, it can be a physical, tangible um, opportunity coming in. So a job offer, a new home, a new way to make money. But together with the six of cups, it can also be about establishing a new foundation and an emotional connection with someone. Yes, that can extend to love. The Six of Cups is about being in a position where now you can have an even balanced exchange of um, emotional connection. So being able to not only be a giver, but also be a receiver of love. And the promise is through being balanced and understanding how that, how that works, that energy exchange, that the love keeps blossoming and blooming. It's not limited, it doesn't run out, it's unconditional and it's expansive. And that's the kind of love, be it in friendship, family, romantic situations, the love you feel even for your colleagues, that kind of love is the love that is eternal and it just goes, goes the distance, guys. So that's the promise, you know, we're really making a huge shift this week and um, there's great things on the horizon through it. I think that's all that needs to be said, Aries. I wish you all the best with it this week. Um, do keep in mind it's a general reading, so it won't necessarily resonate for everyone. Feel free to leave me a comment because I always love to know how it's unfolding and shaping up in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.